Hi, so the video for Led Zeppelin's Rock and Roll. Um, first thing, you're on an A chord, yeah, open A chord, but you're not playing the, the whole thing. You often don't with you know, electric guitar, you're aiming for sets of strings, just a couple of strings in this case. Open A string and D string second fret, which are the lowest two notes of an open A chord, yeah. And it's based around this. It's based around that thing and the second fret D string, fourth fret D string, yeah? And you're playing both strings. So the lick, uh, sorry, the riff. Okay, <clears throat> so um, in the actual track, you've got two guitars and one's going and that thing up there, which we'll have a look at in a minute. But the first guitar is doing this, or the rhythm guitar is doing this. So like I said, it's based around that bluesy thing and with a few embellishments. So it starts on a upbeat, one and two and yeah, so your first picking stroke is an up stroke. One and and for muting underside of the fretting hand, underside of the finger that is fretting the string, is gonna mute the strings below it, yeah, underneath it, whilst whilst fretting this string, I'm muting these. And um, I also don't want to hit this low E string. Well, I can either um, mute it with my thumb over the top of the neck here or with my picking hand. Yeah, the muting, palm muting thing. The palm, oh, let's move that. Palm on the side of the bridge. Yeah, where the strings meet the body. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it starts on that beat. One and two and. Yeah, so that is. Like I said, open A, D string, second fret, and then your third finger goes to the fourth fret of the A string, and then comes up again. So one and two and, and then you got the rest of it. Yeah. So we got one and two and three and four. Yeah. So that three and four. That's movement on the D string. So you got fifth fret D string with a little finger, back to second fret D string, fourth fret D string, back to second fret D string. One, two, and three, and four. Yeah. And then immediately after that, actually, so you got it doesn't actually fourth fret, it doesn't go back to second fret. You got fifth fret, second fret. Fourth fret, and then you got that, which is third fret on the A string, yeah, with a bend. So you got one and two and three and four and one and two and three. One and two and three and four. in the record. So after you've done your upstroke, another upstroke, when you release the bend, so upstroke on the bend, release the bend, third fret A string, and then downstroke, you got your third finger on the fourth fret of D string, and you're going into that. So all in all, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and three. And let me do that one more time. I think I messed up a bit at the end, but you know, those are slight things nobody's gonna notice. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. Okay, and 
then that exact same pattern with your hand, you just take it up a set of strings from the A string and D string to the D string and G string. So open D string, G string, second fret, which is the bottom two notes of the D chord. So again, you're not going to play the whole chord, just the open D and the G string, the second fret. And then exactly the same pattern with your fretting hand. One and two and three and four and one and two and whoops, sorry. One, two and three. One and two and tap. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Hmm, keep messing that one up. One and two and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and that was it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Yeah, and then you're back to A. One and two. Sorry. One and two and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then you take it down to the E. Yeah, with its bottom two notes of a open E chord. So you got the open E string and. A string second fret, and then exactly the same pattern. One and two and three and four and one and two and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And then it goes back to the A where you started. One and two and three. Sorry, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So that's what the main rhythm guitar is doing, yeah. basically it, yeah? Then you got another guitar, putting in that, which if you're playing just one guitar, you could put that in, sounds more interesting. So this would go one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and four. Or just go up here and start on the A. This is giving you an A7. An 11th fret on the D string, 12th fret on the G string, although I'm playing that with my third finger. Yeah, when you're at A here, the first finger is on the D string, so it can slide up here to the 11th fret and be an anchor finger, and then I just find it easier to put down the third finger rather than the second finger. Um, and because this is giving you an A7 chord from this shape, yeah, that C7 shape, C, D, E, F, G, A, but only the A string. D string and G string, or really only the D string and G string, but because this is A, we can include the open A string. So the timing could be this. And then, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So there what I did is I took that shape just down a semitone, yeah, or down a fret from 11 and 12 to 10 and 11, because that, from this shape, or that E shape bar chord, gives you D7, and then you are going to, your next chord is a D or D7 chord. So after you've gone, and then you can go back to here and go take it from the yeah, 10th and 11th fret to 11th and 12th fret so that you're moving from D to A. Let me show you what I mean in context. Taking up here the 12th 
fret and 13th fret gives you E7. Yeah? From this shape. Again, from the E shape bar chord, yeah? And then, after you've gone up there, and you're taking it back down to the 11th and 12th fret for your A7 shape. Okay? So, in context. strings on the up stroke and it's a muted down stroke yeah which is all about the side of the palm touching the strings or going down on the strings at the same time or slightly before maybe the pick yeah and that gives you that Choppy rhythmic effect. Okay, hope that's alright.